Hi everyone, you probably know this already. In order to grow fast on YouTube, you need to have a solid video retention rate. So what is the secret sauce? Making high quality and super engaging videos. When it comes to video editing tools, CapCut is not only a great option for beginners, but it is also a budget-friendly one, especially when compared to professional software like Premiere Pro. But here's the real deal. Can CapCut genuinely assist you in crafting those polished viewer magnet videos that are not only hold them in for longer, but also propel your growth? Well, today is your lucky day because in this video, I will show you some advanced tips and tricks that will give you content a turbo boost in the turbo charge of growth. Stick with me until the end. I've got something to share about using CapCut in a way that is riding the wave of YouTube current popular trends. Let's dive right in. These days, we all know that people have a shorter and shorter attention span. If you're making a talking head video like this without adding interesting B-rolls and different background compositions, it's really easy to lose the attention of your viewers. And they end up clicking out of the video and the algorithm will stop pushing the video to more people. I know how that feels. So instead of shooting a video in a static scene, you can use free template in Canva Pixels to spice things up and make your video look more interesting. Okay, let me show you how you can do that. You can get free video backgrounds from both Paxos and Canva. Let me show you on Paxos first. Go to Paxos website in the search bar, type in background texture. Then it comes up with all kinds of backgrounds that you can choose from. In this case, I'm going to choose the brick wall looking background. Then click on free download. Wait for a few seconds. A save as pop-up window will show up. Then save the file somewhere you can find it on your computer. For this background, you can even add a bit of decor if you want to. I usually just go to PNG Wing website to look for transparent graphics that I want to add to my background. As you can see here, I added a floor lamp, a couch, a bookcase, and the painting on the wall. The trick is to add the blur effect to make it look like a professional camera background defocus. How you can do that is in your effects tab, find the blur effect, then drag it down to your overlay or your furniture items, and then adjust the blur dial to make your desired blur. In this demonstration, I have both used free background from Canva and Paxos, so I can switch things up a bit for my video, preventing my viewers from getting bored. Oh, don't forget to use your talking head video as an overlay, then go to cutout on the videos in the top right corner. Click on auto cutout, then CapCut can remove the original background. If you want to make your video even more dynamic, you can use keyframe to make an entry when you come onto the screen. All you need to do is at the beginning of your talking head video, click on a little diamond shaped button beside position, on the position and size of basic tab of video on the right hand side of the cap card. Then move the overlay all the way down. Then pick another spot on your clip, do the same. Click on a keyframe, then drag your video up to the right position. When you play the video, it looks like you are appearing from the bottom. If you want to do tutorial videos like this, while you are sharing your computer screen or your tablet, you want your face still showing on the screen. This is how you do it. Add your talking head video as an overlay, then shrink the video to smaller size and position it in the right spot you want your face to be shown. Then click on video, mask, choose the shape, for example, circle. Then readjust the size to achieve your desired result. The other way to make your video look more interesting is to create more movement. And the way you can do that is by using keyframes. For example, when you are talking about some key points in your video, you can create a zoom in effect. On your talking clip, create three keyframes. The first one is at the point just before you want to zoom in. 
Click on the diamond button beside scale on the position and size. This is under the basic tab of the video. Make sure this is original size, whatever that might be. Now at the point of you wanting to zoom in, click on the keyframe again beside the scale. This time increase it to 150%. Next, create another keyframe not too far from the second one. Scale it down to 100% again. Now, if I click on play, the footage looks like the lens has been zooming in and out quickly. You can even move the background photo from left to right using keyframe to make it look like it's constantly moving. All you need to do is to create four points of keyframes for the background clip. The first one is to lock in the original size and position. The second one is to enlarge the picture to 120 or 130 percent. Then drag it all the way to the left side of the photo. Now the third frame, keyframe, drag it all the way to the right side of the photo with the same size. Lastly, the fourth keyframe, put the size and the position back to the original settings, which is 100%, and shows the full picture. Now, if I play the video, you can see the background is moving from left to right. Sometimes, if you want to demonstrate and discuss certain objects, you can make them drop into the video and make it appear more dynamic. Like for this camera and the microphone. Those are photos that I downloaded from PNG Wang. They import it to my video. Drag it down to the main clip, then resize them. Then click on the camera clip to create two keyframes. For the first one, move the camera out of the frame. The second one, move it to the spot where you want to show it. When you press play, it looks like it's just dropped from the sky into the video. Don't forget to add the whoosh sound effect to make it more real. If you really think the font in your video doesn't matter that much, think again. Remember the famous Alex Hormozzi's caption? Sadly, it became a popular trend. Everyone is using it. You can create your own style and brand in your video by using unique fonts and animation. The building choice of font is quite a lot already in CapCut, but if you want to add your favorite font in CapCut, it's totally doable. Go to thefont.com and look for the font you want to download. For example, I'm looking for typewriter font. Then click on download. Open the file. Select the true type font file. When it opens, click on install. Restart your CapCut. Click on text, add text. Then choose font. The one you just downloaded should be in there. With this font, if you add the animation of typewriter, and increase the duration. Also add the sound effect of typing. When your words come onto the screen, it will really come alive. So really, CapCut as a beginner-friendly editing software is truly powerful without the steep learning curve and the hefty price tag. You just need to use your creativity and some experiments to push its limit. With some advanced features in CapCut, it's entirely possible to create a pro-looking videos and get your viewers hooked. Recently, I have watched a few videos that were trying to create Ali Abdul's popular short, The Halo Effect. You probably already watched this short. It reached in 2.7 million views. People always wondered how to edit a short like this. Shout out to Validation and Satan's Reign. They made a video especially teaching people how to make a short like Ali, but they both used Premiere Pro to create it. 
I was intrigued and I wanted to see whether I can create a similar short by using CapCut. We all know CapCut is for free and beginner friendly, but there is a limitation on how complex the video can be. After probably 20 or 30 hours later, I managed to make some progress with the existing CapCut functions and the features. It doesn't look exactly like Ali's video, but I think it's along the same line and a similar style. So if you're interested in the breakdown steps of how I made a short like this, please subscribe and turn on the notification. I will upload the video next week so you can see how you can use CapCut like a pro and make exceptional videos to help you skyrocket your YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.